Hello everyone. I wanted to show you a little tool I found for Blender today that's called BeMesh Clean. It's an extremely cheap add-on for less than $10 and it's kind of saved my bacon because it is something that cleans up certain types of geometry that are not fantastic. And I recently tried to do this in a stream that I used one of these procedural looking, funky looking buildings here that you know you just get from a website. It's a bit like the Turbo Squid type models, but this one basically just generates itself in a web browser and whenever you click a button it's a different type of house that comes out and I thought it would be quite funny to use it and my issue was how am I going to put decent looking materials on it. So if I go into wireframe mode I can see that uh, well that's actually not that good to see let me just go and put wireframe overlay on there so we can we can see what's going down here. So like the roof for example that is just you know triangulated and uh, things don't look great so it's the typical look that you get from from the kind of turbo squid type uh, marketplaces and it's difficult to deal with so I was wondering what am I going to do? Am I going to remesh it or whatnot? And that also just that just that just gets, gets messier than it needs to be. And thankfully, there's this little tool called BeMesh Clean that can make that happen for us. So it comes up once you install it. It's a Blender Market product here. This is it. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. You can just buy this version here. This is Blender 2.8 and up, so it still works in Blender 3.2, and it costs you nine dollars ninety. And it's a well worth investment because it also works with text, as I'll show you in a moment and uh, there's some funky little demos on here and it, it shows you what it can do and how it works and i just tried it out and it's absolutely amazing so it's very very cool andrew d thank you so much for bringing us this so how do we use it it's once it's installed it comes up with this little tool shelf here with the n tab and then you see this thing which is called be mesh clean and that was a little bit confusing here because you can there's a ton of options that you can set here if you want but ordinary users like me we wouldn't really understand what that's all about so all we need to really do is go over here to preset tool where we can pick one of two things and import clean and blender default they are they have different settings. I don't really know which ones. Either of them will work great. I'm just going to use Blender default. With my object selected here, I'll hit apply selected and boom, cleaned up the geometry. It tells you what it does. So it has removed 920 faces and um, it took it 0 0.03 seconds to do this. So way, way quicker than I could ever do this. So there's no more triangulation in the roof and there's no more triangulation in the windows. And now I can go and UV map this and put some decent materials on there. Like all these things that we saw in the door frame here, they've all just been magically tidied up. I don't know what voodoo this is, but it's awesome. And I thought, you know, I just wanted to let you know this. This is how it works. Kind of crazy. Let me show you this on another example in regards to text. This is something that I use a lot when I go and just type something out and then I turn this into uh, into text. So this is what uh, text, this is currently a font object, so it hasn't been converted into an actual mesh yet. But if I were to do that, this geometry is really difficult to deal with. I mean, technically it describes it really like the best like all these roundnesses here on the on the letters but what i used to do is uh, i used to literally remesh it so we need to convert this into an actual mesh for this to be usable so i believe that's under object and convert okay fine click off it click on it again one of those things object convert to mesh and now this is no longer an editable text object. This is now a mesh and its geometry really looks that terrible. So what I used to do is I would go down to the modifier stack and then either do a remesh option and then find myself some settings here, maybe sharp and then also remove the disconnected and then crank up the octree depth to something like eight but that now gives it if i were to look at the statistics that would give it a ton more polygons than i actually need it would still make it awkward to work with and it's not actually as round here as i wish it would be so this is also where bmesh clean would totally give you the upper hand so let me go and not apply that modifier i'm just going to go and delete it go back to my weirdo topology and run bmesh clean so with that selected bmesh clean i'm just going to use um, the blender default options again hit apply to select it and boom and that is very very cool it removed 12,000 faces 27,000 edges and now this is much much nicer to deal with so we still have roundness on the curves here so it retained that some of these 
bits and pieces can't be removed completely, but this is now way, way easier for me to deal with font objects. And it's just much, much smaller than it was before. So very, very cool. Beamesh clean, super easy to use. And if something doesn't work out, try the other preset, try mixing up some values here and see what they do. I was blown away by it because this kind of topology, I really had no idea how to fix it. And I come across this quite often. And, you know, wonderful little discovery that I've made. And I thought I will share this with you. I hope you liked it. Link is in the description. The add-on is called Be Mesh Clean and have fun with it. I hope I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.